Do you have a Canva account? If you do, then you are in for a treat, especially if you have Canva Pro. In today's lesson, I'm going to be teaching you some keywords that you can use to search for amazing glitters, metallics, brush strokes, paints, tapes, papers, and a whole lot more. Are you ready? Let's get started. Welcome back, you guys. My name is Katie. Thank you so much for tuning in again to this video. And today, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be sharing with you the keywords that I use to look for the things that I wanted to incorporate in my designs, like torn paper, ripped paper, metallics, glitters, and all that jazz. So let's go and dive into it right now. I'm going to open a document or a file, um, let's say Facebook post. And let's get started with this one. Now we have a blank workspace right here. And so let's go and add a few more things that would spice up our um, work or our design. So normally we should go to elements to get all these things that we need to add. Like say we need to add this. And so we go to featured or to grids or to shapes, frames, stickers, and a whole lot more. But in today's tutorial, what I'm going to teach you is how to search for elements inside the photos menu. Okay, so I'm sure you know where I'm going at right here because you just saw my recently used item. This is one of the things that I really love about Canva. Oh, by the way, just recently, Canva has announced that more than 60 million images and illustrations would be available for free to all Canva Pro users. So it's exciting. It's um, a great time to try. And right now, I'm actually on a free account. So I'm going to show you the things first that you can see if you are on a free account. And then later, I'm going to show you what it looks like or what it would feel like. Um, the excitement that it gives me is actually <laughs> tantamount to like I'm having a, a birthday party, like opening gifts. So I'm going to show you that also later when we use my Canva Pro account. So now, um, here we are using a free account. So let's go ahead and search um, our first keyword is actually brush stroke okay so you just have to type brush stroke again we are not in the elements menu we are in the photo section so just enter and then you will see the brush strokes that are available so you can resize this of course if you want to that's silver and now this is gold Okay, and then the other items right here are for pro already, the ones with the crown. So whenever you see a crown, that means it's for Canva Pro users. So I think there's another free right here. Here you go. And then let me search again. This one is for free as well. So a lot of things that you can incorporate in your designs, really. So even if you are on a free account, you can still use all of this. Now, this is white, so it's not really obvious. So probably we can make it smaller and put it on top of this gold all right just so you can see it and then again another version of this there's blue just put it there and then right here and a lot lot more so i'm not gonna um, open up all these things right now and then i'm gonna show you the next keyword that you can use the next one is paint stroke so earlier we typed brush stroke and now it's paint stroke so here you go. There are a lot of free as well. So I don't see any crowns so far. All right. So there, oh, there you go. The crown has started. So, okay. So if you need to use paint strokes for your branding or for your design um, as a whole, then you can search for paint stroke right in the photos menu. So I keep on repeating that because um, we have been used to just go to elements to get on the things that we need to add for our designs. Now, the next keyword would be tape. So just plain old tape, it's T-A-P-E, there you go. All right, and then there's also washi tape. So you just have to type washi tape there. So if you like creating collage type um, designs or if you like creating things that you can put in your scrapbook or your journal, then this is the keyword for you. So again, Another reminder, you should go to photos and not 
in the elements area and now we are using a free canva account so fret not if you don't have a canva pro account yet later i'm gonna discuss about canva pro now aside from paint stroke brush stroke tape and washi tape we can also look for torn paper or you can type rip paper there you go this is pretty common um, to some of the designs that um, Canva has in the templates area. So for us to see that, um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color of our background to black so that it's more obvious. And then I'm going to remove some of the tapes so that uh, or just move it right here so you can see it some more. OK, so I'm just going to move those up there and then um, I'm going to position this in place so that you can see it a lot better. OK, and then another option that you can do is to actually just remove everything, duplicate this and put it on top. Now you have a ripped or torn paper design. Um, and then the next one, um, I'm not sure if you have searched for this already, but it's Polaroid. So there are also things that are available um, if you want to incorporate some Polaroid designs. Now, this is for free, but there is a watermark. So you have to pay for this. I think this is um, $1. Okay, there you go. There's no watermark. So you can use this. Just angle it a little bit. And then for you to drop a picture directly, what you can do is to go to Elements and then get on the grid. Uh, make it a bit smaller so that it would fit right here, but position it on top first. All right, so I'm just gonna resize this so that you just have to drop your photo and you don't have to worry about um, adjusting everything later. All right, so let me see. I'm just add a little bit more on the sides. Okay, and then we have kind of a drop zone or a frame already. So we go to photos and pick one of the photos that we see right here. So probably this one. There you go. So it's easy as that if you are using frames. But of course, it's also possible to not use the frame. So you just have to select your photo and then resize it. Okay, for this matter, I think you need to crop it because the size is not the same. Um, this one is a vertical photo, whereas we have like a squarish um, area on the Polaroid. So click crop and then just move it around. There you go. And then let's see if we can crop it some more or there and then make it smaller by dragging the handlebar and then there. So you can also do that, but it's easier. The frame thingy, um, if we use that, is actually a lot easier than adjusting the photo right here. Okay, so now we move to another um, search word and the keyword would be gold plus, the plus sign on your keyboard, metallic plus, and then brush stroke. A brush stroke here is just one word. Okay, and then we search, and then we all see this free stuff right here. All right, so again, if you want to incorporate gold, metallics, that stuff in your design, then go have a party because it's already available for free for you. Again, I'm on the free account right now. So what more if we are using a Canva Pro account? And I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Don't worry. Okay, so that's it for um, the free account. Another keyword would be um, instead of gold, you change to silver. Okay, and then the other option is to change silver to glitter. Okay, so I'm going to type glitter and you will see some glitter options if you want to use it. All right, so I guess we can proceed to um, the Canva Pro account because this is a lot more exciting because we get a lot of free stuff. More free stuff is always fun. Okay, so I'm going to close this one real quick and then I'm going to switch to my Canva Pro account. And it's going to open and I'm going to click Facebook post. And now we have this workspace to work on and we go to photos, not elements, and we go ahead and search. So let's start with brush stroke. All right. So there you go. The pro stuff we can use because 
again, like I mentioned earlier, if you are on a pro account, everything inside Canva is already free for you. You can use it already. Now, I think this has a background, so we will try to remove it. I'm going to change the background photo itself, I mean the background color itself, and then remove the white background for this rainbow. All right, so Canva will do the motions. Um, background remover is a pro feature, so free users won't be able to use this. And also, if you are using Canva for education, you will not have this feature ready for you as well. So there we were successfully able to remove the background for our um, brush stroke rainbow. So now we're ready to look for paint stroke. Right, so the same as with the pro account earlier, we see all this stuff, but we have some more that are um, not free earlier. So we can choose this. And of course, if you want to have a wet paint effect, you can have that as well for free because you are on a pro account. So the possibilities are endless. There are so many free stuff right here that you can use. You can even have this heart there. And um, we go next to the keyword um, tape. So there, the pro, um, earlier the pro feet, the ones that are tagged as pro are now um, free right here. So many stuff, okay. Now, um, tape is just generally tape. So everything that has a tape on the tag will show up. So if you want to be more specific, you can search for washi tape or paper tape. Okay, so there all the washis um, will show up and we can also change washi to paper and you will see some results as well. Okay, so they're amazing, right? Are you enjoying this? I'm super duper enjoying this. Now, let's go to torn paper this time. So I'm just gonna quickly type torn paper. And here you go. So many options. You can go and have a party in your designs. Um, you also have this feature if you want it. You can actually resize this so that it will fill up your entire workspace. Of course, you can remove the stuff in the background so that they will not be visible already. So then there you go. You can use that and probably type your brand name right here or put your logo. Um, you can also use this one right here. And if there's a an edge that's super duper straight, you can again resize so that it fills up that area. Okay, and maybe change the background to black so that it will blend with the other uh, background there or the other option that you have is just to remove the black background altogether if you want to use a different colored background okay so now um, we can go to polaroid this time so the things that we saw earlier that you have to pay is now for free there's no more um, watermark right here so it disappeared so if you are a scrapbooker, you will love the keywords that we are using today in this tutorial. So let me know, are you a scrapbooker, crafter, or a digital designer and all that, or maybe a blogger somehow? So I would love to know who my audience are, and maybe in the next videos, I'll be featuring some comments. So go ahead and leave a comment in this video. I would love to read them. All right, so let's move on. This time we will um, work on the compound search keywords so this time we go to metallic plus uh, gold plus metallic plus brush trope there you go and then i'm going to search so we will see all the um results there's even a rose gold light right here this is so beautiful i like this Okay, so even if we don't change to silver or to glitter, it's going to show up anyway. So you just have to scroll and then there's glitter down there. I have another thing that I want to show you, but that deserves another video. I'm just going to give you a little um, introduction about it. So if we choose a photo like this and you, we will use the filters, we can actually change the color there. So instead of gold, it's now blue, it's now pink. So 
it can even be multicolored like this and you can pixelate it and you can apply duo tone effect so we will discuss effects in another video so i hope you will watch out for that so there i guess we're good with this video right now we i have shown you how to search using a free canva account or using a canva pro account so there are a lot of stuff that you can use in here it's free for you if you are a canva pro user now if you are a canva free account owner and you wanted to try all this convenience that we are experiencing then you can sign up for a canva pro account it's free for 30 days yes 30 days free trial all you need to do is to click on the link that i will be leaving in the description box later um there's a it's an affiliate link actually so i'm gonna earn something from the purchase if you will be charged and even if you sign up i'm gonna be earning something so just full disclosure right there um there's no extra charge for you it's canva that's going to have to pay me for that all right so there you go that's our feature for today's video i hope you enjoyed it feel free to experiment and search for keywords the more specific the keyword that you will use the more results you'll have so um if you cannot find the things that you are looking for in elements be sure to check in photos maybe they're hiding there <laughs> okay so that's it for me today um i'll see you on the next video bye now